backtracking on last week's threat and replacing it with another one. After widespread pushback over fears of dire economic consequences, Donald Trump has now said he won't be closing the U.S.-Mexican border in an effort to stop illegal immigration. Before we close the border, we'll put the tariffs on the cars. I don't think we'll ever have to close the border because the penalty of tariffs on cars coming into the United States from Mexico at 25 percent will be uh, massive. Last week, the U.S. president sent American and Mexican industries into a panic over the possibility of an imminent border closure. For daily trade between the two countries is $1.7 billion a day. But now the threat of tariffs creates its own issues. First, many car parts go back and forth over the border multiple times. Tariffs could hurt American car companies. For imports of car parts is a $113 billion industry. And finally, such tariffs on the grounds of national security might no longer be possible under the newly negotiated but not yet ratified North American trade agreement, USMCA. For the Mexican government, trade and Trump's preoccupation with illegal immigration are two separate things. We are not mixing them. But the president They're, of the United States Yeah, is. but we are not responding mixing them. Uh, uh, we are responding on the migration side in a respectful way at the highest level. And then the USMCA and the trade negotiations are a separate track, a separate window, and we are dealing with that. After replacing one threat with another, first the border closure, now the tariffs, Trump has continued with his streak of backpedaling. For this is the second time this week. He also changed his tune on rolling back health care after Republicans balked. You're going to get clobbered.